Cabrini Green today, the place that is that was once that public housing, is now quite gentrified. The neighborhood has really changed, and um, and with that has come an influx of new money, and um, uh, the demographics have shifted pretty significantly. And part of what we're trying to say with this movie is that you can't just erase pain. You can't just erase that oppressive tradition by knocking down the buildings and putting up a Starbucks. That there's that that still lives there. And for us, our Candyman is uh, about holding on to that truth and the idea that um, beneath all of that, there's something um, that's still unresolved. The art world is um, about representation, literally. It's literally about um, portrayal and about telling stories visually. And Candyman, after all, right, is a story that kids tell each other to scare themselves. It's, the, it's, it's a game that you play when you're looking in the mirror um, based on a legend, based on a myth. And for us, the cool thing about setting in the art world is that that's what art's about, too. It's about telling a story through symbology and telling it through, um, uh, telling it through beauty to be provocative. And our film intends to do that, and I think um, uh, that's what Candyman is all about. Tiana is amazing in this movie um, for a, a bunch of reasons, but one is that she is so fun. She feels like your best friend as soon as you meet her. And I think there's a, a warmth to her that is um, not in any way undercut by how smart she is. And, you know, in some ways, Candyman is very much Brianna's story. I mean, as much as it is Anthony's, in that, you know, she ends up really having to drive this film and ends up finding, um, ends up having to challenge her own assumptions uh, about uh, about what's going on, ends up having to challenge um, her assumptions about her relationship with the man she loves, and also serves as the skeptic. You know, Brianna's character is really, in some ways, a proxy for us as the audience. We wanted somebody who could really um, sink into this world that we were building, someone who could really work with what's ultimately a character piece and which has a real, I think, um, strong, uh, dramatic backbone. And so what Nia's work did, and you know, if you see her film Little Woods, was manages to really play on, really play with the ideas of serious trenchant social issues and handling them in a non-didactic way. And at the same time, getting you very, very close to characters who are in desperate situations, and um, and it feels um, it feels like I can't imagine anyone else directing this movie now, having watched it. Um, uh, the amount of of life she breathed into it, um, and uh, and how much she shaped this cannot be overstated.